Peggy and today I want to show you some really neat products that I've gotten from May Arts Ribbon. We're going to be using a paint that's from Creative Imaginations and it's called Paint It. It comes in a big 12 by 12. I don't know if you can see all that or not. It's a huge big piece of paper. And I cut it down to make my cards. So there's the one that we're going to focus on. And this was actually done and I'm going to show you how I did that with just the leftovers. Okay? Some of the other products we're going to use are going to be the H2O's. These are called Twinkling H2O's and they are like cakes of paint and they glisten and that's why they're called twinkling. They are really awesome paints so we're going to use those. We're going to use some of Creative Imagination's tags and there are like 59 or something of these in here. Really cool. And then I'm going to bring in some of the Petaloo flowers and show you how you can alter these using the same twinkling H2O's. Alright, let me clear some things here and let's get started. Now when you're using your twinkling H2O's you can use any kind of paintbrush that you prefer. You can use these. I use these are from Claudine Helmuth. I love her paintbrushes. I use those for a lot of things. But when I started working with the uh, Twinkling H2O's, I really liked using my water paintbrush. And I don't really know who makes these. It doesn't even say on the tube, so I could tell you. But you fill them with water, and then the water comes out at the right. And there's a couple different tips that you can get. And I love these. So I use these a lot. And that's what we're going to use tonight. So here's what I did. Let me bring in my little doodad here. These are some spots that I've already painted. But I want to show you how easy this is to do. You simply... Put your paintbrush right in there and it's already got a little bit of water on it and you just start painting. And if you make a mistake, you wipe it off before it dries. There you go. It's a little hard to do that with holding it up. But what I liked about this was that whatever product they've used to put their design in this paper, the black part totally resists my color. So I can paint and I don't have to really worry too much about being inside the lines. It looks pretty good. So just I know you all know how to paint. I'm just going to do one here so you can see how cool this is and how it resists. That was a thing that I was so impressed by. So there you go. Now the other cool thing about these paints, I spritzed a little bit of water in there because they're cakes in there like cakes of paint. So if I was going to use this one, that one's already been started, I could use my Claudine Helmuth paintbrush and bring it in. Let's find a big spot we can use this on. We'll paint this flower yellow. So you can just go right in there and do it just like that. I really wish the camera could pick up the glycerine part of this flower when this paint goes down. It's just so cool. So see, you can use any paintbrush. It doesn't really matter. This one's probably a little too fat for doing the intricate painting. But these paints are really good too when you want to do a stamped image. You would just use a permanent ink and I always use Memento ink because it dries and it's a, a dye ink paint so that when you put markers or the paints with it it won't bleed and that's very important you don't want to have that now you're wondering what on earth was this piece for when I go to clean my brush I don't put it in the water right away I put it right out here and then I get rid of that extra paint on there because I hate to waste things and that's how I got this background this is all from when I was doodling and playing with the paints in the beginning I just put them on here on an extra piece of this paper just like that see there and I made myself another card so that's really a cool thing to do I don't like to waste anything then I told you about the creative imagination tags and little die cuts they had here I just brought one of these in let's just do it in green this time and put a little bit of twinkling H2O's on there and change the color so you could make it match your card and it looks like it's one big set there we go let me wipe off my mat. I'm using a craft mat. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but they are the greatest surface to work on with your inks and with paints. Look at that. So I would let that dry. You can also heat set this if you're in a hurry uh, to get finished with your project. And then if you use a darker color, I would do a heat emboss, put a little bit of uh, your pigment ink on there, your embossing powder, and heat set that so that you get a nice raised verse or design whatever you want to put on your tag. So there's another one. One more thing I want to show you. I told you about the Petaloo. And I decided to add a little dimension to these. And these come in a lot of colors. It's really awesome. It matches all of their coordination paper. So you can take your paintbrush and just add a lot or a little. So if I wanted to change it to match totally the colors, I could do that. Or I could bring in my little brush and just do the edges. Now I saw a really awesome thing the other day on the internet. This lady took these flowers and she cut, not all the way to the center, but she kind of cut at an angle all the way up on both sides, took the petal out of there, it looked like a feather. And you know feathers are all the rage right now with those young girls in their hair, so you can put that on a headband. So there you go. 
and now I've changed the total look of my flower. How neat is that to be able to use your few little colors of paint, a few little products, and make yourself an awesome thing. Once you get all painted, you're going to add your little ding-dings there, and then you're going to add this ribbon from May Arts, which is totally awesome. It just pulls right out of everything out of the card you need to see, and call it a card. So make sure you stop over at May Arts Ribbon and check out all the other things that are out there that you can do with their ribbon, and get yourself some of this painted paper. Have a great day. Bye.